Hey, good morning guys. This is Jo at the Hook and Nut. I couldn't see the numbers this morning. I wait for the numbers to pop up so I can see what in the world I'm doing. Um, so anyway, uh, welcome to the end of the week. It's Arab Shabbos and that means I only have to work a half day today because the rest of the day will be spent cleaning up mostly after the cats and getting ready uh, for Shabbos and stuff. Uh, but anyway, yesterday it was brutal cold. And I put it, I changed up my 30 day adventure expedition scarf uh, for uh, artifact hunting. And um, one of the things I added on is what if it's too cold to go out? Not because of rain, not because of snow, because of flipping frostbite. So I got to add blue frostbite beads. You can't see them very well, can you? Nope. They blended in really well with the blue sky from yesterday. Uh, but they are, by the way, still just like the rain beads they're uh glow in the dark i'm gonna run out soon and i'm gonna be very unhappy about that but anyway so yesterday since i didn't go out because it really was that cold it was like single digit cold with by the time you added on the wind chill um so i chose the brown from the soil and it was a blue uh sky uh all day you know a lot of clouds in it but it was mostly blue and um so I added in the blue frostbite beads. So that was, a, that was a lot of fun. I love getting to add in the beads. I don't mind those days. I would mind them if I didn't, wasn't able to add in beads. Beads make, okay, missing tolerable. So anyway, so that was it. I'm not sure I'm going out today either because um, it's supposed to be just a high of 31. And add in the wind chills and we're bound into the teens again. So anyway, so the other thing uh, that I'm going to have going today is after I've got to finish mittens up. So, so I texted our uh, mail lady last night who ordered a pair of fingerless mitts. And I told her, I said, hey, I'll have them in the mail for you in the mailbox waiting for you tomorrow. And I was like, I don't even have them done. So I've still got to finish those up this morning. That's why I'm talking fast and going through this fast. And I will, as soon as I've got the mitts made and they're down in the um, mailbox, which will be before noon, um, I'll get the how to sew on Etsy video done. Seriously. Uh, okay, so the other thing I'm working on today is an order for the ponytail hats, but I don't really like the ones that I'm seeing. But I do like the Tea Cozy Hat by Wooly Worm Head. And you can go on, look for Tea Cozy Hat on Ravelry. And I'm not, I don't have time to put the links today, and I'm sorry. But put, look for the Tea Cozy Hat on, on, on Ravelry, and then just follow the link. It's a free pattern. Download the pattern. And, I mean, it's really, really nice. The way she's got it. See, what I haven't liked about the Tea Cozy Hat is, like, I don't care if you do have a, a ponytail up there. You're going to have air coming through. And where does the heat leave your head? Through the top, out through there. That's still the top of the head. So you're losing heat. So the nice part about Woolies is that hers has a tie at the top. So you can tie it, pull it tighter, and tie it shut. So you can cut out that extra air that's going to come through and freeze you. Because the point of a hat really isn't for looks, guys. The point of a hat is to keep you warm in the winter. So anyway, i got some other stuff that I want to show you in another video later uh, that I've got up. But don't have time right now. I've got to get myself moving. Uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, good Shabbos to the tribe. Uh, for those of you in the tribe who see this later. And good Volk. And I hope... Everything goes great today, and we'll see you later. Stay warm.